Three and a half years after assuming the role in the heart of COVID, Reno City Manager Doug Thornley is leaving. Thornley told city staff Monday and spoke with News 4 Fox 11 about his departure on Tuesday. It's time for a reinjection of energy at the top of the organization so that we can get a couple of our important identified goals across the finish line. I think it's a healthy thing for any business, for any organization to have change at the, at the top. Do you agree with Doug, you know, that, that it is time and that it's time for a, no. a fresh injection? No. Okay. <laughs> no, no. But, you know, it, it, I'm really um, proud and I think that, you know, he's leaving on an incredibly high note. Look, we're going to be launching Moana and a historic police um, you know, facility, public safety center, things that I never thought were possible. Mayor Hillary Sheevy also praised Thornley, saying he helped turn around the culture at City Hall. But his resignation comes amid an especially rocky time. An extensive This Is Reno investigation showed council members use their budgets for extravagant and unusual travel expenses Thornley signed off on. We asked if that played a factor in his stepping down, and he simply responded no. He also faced allegations of drinking on the job from Councilwoman Jenny Breckis. The claim was found to be unsubstantiated, but Breckis says Thornley retaliated against her as a result. She sued the city over it in a case that is still pending. As a person, of course, it weighs on anyone. Um, but no, it wasn't a factor in my decision to, to walk away. Um, in roles like this, people are going to disagree with you. They're not always going to be, you know, you're not going to have harmony all the time. In Reno. Ben Marjot reporting.